So, you know, there's a lot of uh, stress that can come with hosting a holiday dinner anyway, but this year in particular because of rising grocery costs. You see it every time you go to pick up something at the store. So many believe this will be the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner yet. And will the stores even have everything you need if the budget isn't your key concern? Kylie hit a Valley grocery store with a Michelin starred chef to shop for our Thanksgiving meal. This is going to be good, Kylie. Good morning. It's been so fun to work on this story. Before we get into it, we do want to let you know we have got a QR code up on our screen right now, so scan that. It's going to be up throughout this story, and it's going to take you to the As Seen on GMAS page where you can get all of the details, all of the recipes, and learn more. So let's talk about the ads. They are plastered all on this counter here. We've got deals on ham and turkey, potatoes and green beans. We know this year it might be a little difficult, a little costly at the grocery store because of rising prices and shortages, but we hit the store to see if we could buy everything we need for under $100 and to see if the grocery store had most of the items on stock. From the turkey to all the trimmings, the countdown to Thanksgiving is on. And if you're making dinner this year, you better start prepping now. We've enlisted the help of Chef Alex Strada with Campo Italian Restaurant in Bar. We're here at Bash's, and you're going to help me with Thanksgiving dinner this year. What's on the menu? So, obviously, the star of the show is the turkey. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give you a couple of side dishes and a dessert. We start in the produce section. What we're looking for is a really crisp apple that roasts well, that holds up, that doesn't get mushy. Chef Alex recommends Fuji, Honeycrisp, and Gala apples. Then we grab garlic, fennel, Brussels sprouts, and green beans. So it looks like we got all the fruits and vegetables we need. What's next? Okay, next we're going to get the star of the show, the turkey. Okay, let's go. Chef Alex says he usually gets two pounds per person. If you have eight people, grab a 16-pound bird. Get it a few days in advance because you don't want to just run it underwater and defrost it. You want it to defrost nice and slowly. So you don't want to go get your turkey Thanksgiving morning. A, it's going to take forever for it to defrost, and B, there might not be any turkeys left. The one thing not in stock, buttermilk for marinating the turkey. But we pivot and grab herbs instead. Chef Alex says it will still taste just as good. And now a stop by the bacon aisle. I like thick cut bacon because it's, uh, it gives you nice big chunks in there. Uh, I don't like it too smoked. Uh, this is like a naturally light smoked bacon, uh, so it doesn't kind of take over the flavor. So we've got everything we need for the turkey, a few sides, and now the final now part. Dessert. We're going to grab some pecans. We're going to do pecan caramel pie for a nice ending for the meal. Okay, perfect. Let's put it in the card and uh, get to check out. So we got everything we needed, 80 bucks, eight people. I think that was a pretty good deal. You ready to start cooking? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's come cooking. on, let's head to your All restaurant. Right. It was sure fun to go shopping and like you saw, pretty much everything we needed was in stock. Now let's talk a little bit more about the ads. We do know the Arizona Farm Bureau expects it's gonna cost you a little bit more this Thanksgiving to get everything you need for dinner, but you gotta pay attention because there are a lot of deals, so definitely do your shopping, do your homework, get those digital coupons and those uh, kind of coupons that you see uh, on these paper ads as well. It was so much fun to go shopping. We spent about $80 to get everything we need for five different dishes to serve eight people, and now it is time for the best part. We are gonna show you the magic and what goes on behind the scenes in the kitchen to get some pretty delicious dishes. After cruising the aisles at Bashes, we pick up everything we need for a Thanksgiving feast. And thankfully, we're not going back to my home. We head to Campo Italian in McCormick Ranch with Chef Alex Strada. So the only thing the store didn't have was buttermilk, and that was going to be used to marinate the turkey. So what are we doing instead? Well, we're going to do a different marinade. This will be an olive oil, garlic, and herb marinade with black pepper. First, we brush the turkey with olive oil and add garlic everywhere. Lots of salt. And remember, it's a big bird, so go ahead and put plenty of salt on it. Plus pepper, sage, rosemary, and thyme. It's a very simple, delicious way of doing it. But be sure to cook it slowly. Use a thermometer is the best indicator. Don't say, I got to cook it for four hours. 
So the next thing we've got to do is the potatoes. Those take a while to cook. So what kind of potatoes did you get and how do we get started? So these are basically russet Idaho potatoes. This is something you want to do the night before. You peel your potatoes, you leave them in water. Chef Alex recommends three potatoes for every four people. What I'm doing now is I'm going to slice them thin. And you know, as a chef, a lot of people ask you like, what's your favorite kitchen gadget? This is my favorite kitchen gadget. What is it? It's called a mandolin. Basically what it does is it cuts things about the same size. Next, we add heavy cream, creamy horseradish, and Parmesan cheese, and bake. So we're on to another side dish. What do we have here? Okay, so here we have our Brussels sprouts. It's going to be cooked with bacon and apples and dried cranberries. After some chopping, we're ready to toss the Brussels, bacon, and apples in a skillet. Trust me, this dish is fire. You'll love it, even if you aren't a big fan of Brussels sprouts. So most people have green beans every Thanksgiving. What do you do with yours? Well, my green beans uh, are really basic. What, what I do is I give it a little bit of the Italian flair by adding some fennel and garlic to them. So now we have a couple of different types of sugar. We have eggs and of course pecans. Must mean we're making dessert. What kind of pie is this? This is a vanilla pecan pie, caramel. First, we make the batter, starting with corn syrup, plus sugars, vanilla, and eggs. We pour everything into a pie crust and bake. After a fun day of shopping and then cooking, it is now time to eat, and we have made up a really delicious four-course meal, plus we've got dessert. So what's your biggest piece of advice to everybody out there preparing their meals for Thanksgiving? Okay, first of all, you gotta plan ahead, be organized, and remember that it's about the food, but it's more about the company. Okay, I'm ready to dig in, aren't you? Okay, cheers to you and cheers to everybody else. Planning for Thanksgiving, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. So throughout the story, you have seen this QR code on the bottom of your screen. Go ahead, get your phone out right now. Be sure to scan that QR code because we have an amazing slideshow posted on our website um, and it's going to take you right there. We've got all of the details. We've got pictures. We've got every single recipe too and also some better ideas and descriptions on how you make the food. A shout out to Kat from the web team for making sure that's up. A couple of things I want to tell you. The Brussels sprouts, by far my favorite dish. Potatoes were a close second, and the turkey was sure delicious. And before we go, guys, one really good tip. 155, you want to stick this in. Again, the thickest part of the turkey, likely the middle of the thigh. When it gets to 165, then you know you're good to go. So 155, kind of just let it sit, turn the oven off, and then 165, you are good to serve it. Because I don't know about you, I've had some dry birds in my day, and I love a ju juicy, moist turkey, definitely. Uh, you can't beat it. Yeah, you are right about that. But it's you can't be moist. shake the reputation of getting everybody sick on Thanksgiving. So definitely <laughs> use that thermometer. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Better yeah, safe. That's, it's not a guest <laughs> Sorry. game. Sorry. Uh, those Brussels sprouts look great. I want to try that recipe for sure. Kylie, thank you. 